Aloha my friends, Christina here and I'm so happy to share with you three raw vegan meals you can eat and enjoy every week. These recipes are simple, quick, delicious, nourishing, satisfying, and so much more. My intention with this video is to provide you with recipes that are simple, quick, nourishing, satisfying, and easy to make. I truly believe that in order to be successful at this lifestyle, whether it be vegan or raw vegan, it's really important to have a few good staple recipes that you always have on hand that you always feel comfortable making. Whether you feel tired, lazy or not, you can always make these recipes and they will always feel good to you. So my goal with this video today is to give you three meal ideas that you can make at any time. They're not overwhelming, they're simplified enough so that you can get used to making them even on your most laziest and tired of days. Last week, I launched the signups for my upcoming 21 day vegan and juicing challenge. Starting on January the 21st, we're gonna be eating one raw vegan meal a day and drinking one fresh juice a day for 21 days. And I'm gonna be hosting 21 days of live Zoom calls to help support and guide you every step along the way. If you've been looking for a health or wellness program to immerse yourself in this year, this is the best program to kickstart your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual wellness journey. And I hope to have you join us. Something different that I'm doing this year is I'm offering this program on my website and on my app. The full program is on my website with all the bells and whistles and educational videos and notes recipe ebooks and more. And the perfect companion version of this challenge is available for you on my app. For those who want a more simplified version of this challenge that you can have on your mobile device where you can access the recipes, have custom made shopping lists, get access to other recipes on my app, it's all there for you. And both of these, whether you are joining via the website or the app, give you access to the 21 days of live Zoom calls. If you've never done one of my challenges before, now is the time. I'm so excited to share with you raw vegan recipes, videos, and so much more. This will be my last year hosting this challenge, so I hope to have you join us. I'm so excited to share these three epic meals with you. Let's jump on in. My intention with today's recipes is to make your life as easy as possible. So the first recipe I'm gonna be sharing with you today is a delicious fully raw smoothie bowl. And this is no regular, ordinary smoothie. You've never fully enjoyed a smoothie bowl until you've made one of mine. I say this confidently because so many people know how to make a smoothie. And they're like, oh yeah, I'm making a smoothie. Great, it's gonna be a meal. But no. And trust me, this smoothie bowl recipe that I'm gonna be sharing with you can easily become one meal replacement for you every single day, every day of the week. If you haven't already found an affinity or a love for smoothie bowls, then I hope that this recipe does it for you. I personally cannot go a day without my smoothie bowl. It gives me so much energy. I feel so full and satisfied. This is where it's at right here. So if we're talking about consuming one raw vegan meal a day for our upcoming challenge, I cannot think of an easier raw vegan meal to make than a smoothie bowl. Now I just wanna plant some seeds for you or some ideas if you will. Most people like to enjoy their smoothie bowls in the morning or for lunch. I personally do because it gives me that extra kick of energy during the day. It makes me feel really full and satisfied. It just helps me get through the rest of my day effortlessly. Now that being said, a lot of people do like to supplement during their beginning parts of the day to help get them going. I'm gonna be adding in Sun Warriors collagen building protein peptides into this smoothie. I really like their vanilla. This is an extra added protein that you can add into your smoothie. It has a complete amino acid profile, but it's not just a protein. I really like to call it a superfood. It's like adding superfood into your smoothies. It has spinach, kale, mushrooms, hyaluronic acid. Essentially the purpose of this protein, this vegan, this raw protein, super high quality, soy free, gluten free, no added sugars, dairy free, best of ingredients, all of the things. I like to add this because it really adds that extra element to your smoothie, that extra nutrition, and the purpose of this really is to not only give you more protein in your day, but it helps you to grow longer, stronger hair, uh, better skin, longer, stronger nails, all of the above. I also like to add Sun Warrior Super Greens. For those of you who have a hard time eating enough greens in your day, this has 
all of the good stuff. Everything from barley grass to alfalfa, all the things. So if you want to find an easy way to add in more super greens into your smoothie or your day, add a scoop of this. And lastly, Sun Warrior has their liquid vitamins and minerals that I like to take during the day as well to just cover any extra bases for myself. Their trace minerals have over 75 trace minerals for you that are essential for your body. And their vitamins also have B12 and vitamin D3, which can be easily missed by anybody. One last thing that I have to address because there are so many people out there right now who think that they have to take fish oil on a daily basis to get their necessary omega-3s, and that is not the case. Sun Warrior has an amazing omega-3 supplement that is made from algae. This is where your omega-3s originally come from, and it's a vegan, plant-based option supported with DHA, this is the one you want. You do not need to take fish oil. I really cannot stress that enough. So if you're interested in checking out any of Sun Warrior's products, whether it be their collagen building protein peptides, their super greens, their vitamins, or their minerals, I've included a special 30% off link below for their bundles and another separate discount link if you need it, please check it out. So let's go ahead and make this delicious smoothie bowl. You really only need three simple ingredients to get started with this recipe. I'm first gonna add in approximately five frozen bananas, and the way that you freeze them is you let them get ripe, and then you peel them, and then you put them in the freezer. You can use as many bananas as you'd like in this smoothie. I'm suggesting five for beginners. Use as many as you would like. I'm also adding in one cup of frozen dragon fruit. If you have fresh, use that and one cup of frozen cherries, pitted. Using bananas in your smoothie bowl is really what gives it this creamy texture, so I do recommend using bananas. You can mix up any other fruits in here that you'd like, whether it be berries or mango. I just happen to love this dragon fruit cherry mix. If you have a strong blender like a Vitamix, this will come out with a thick ice cream-like texture. I like to call this banana ice cream. Or if you want it to be less thick, you can always add water. If you're not using a strong blender like a Vitamix, I definitely recommend adding enough water to help it blend. Otherwise, you will burn out your blender. Look at this gorgeous color. I will never get over this color. It's so beautiful. Look at this consistency. Look at the smoothness. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Once you've got your smoothie in your bowl, you can add whichever toppings that you'd like. You can add on fresh berries, fresh fruit, cacao nibs, raw granola, or you can even sprinkle on some coconut flakes. This delicious dragon fruit cherry smoothie bowl is the perfect way to consume one raw vegan meal a day. And trust me when I say it will change your life. I hope you give this smoothie bowl a try and I hope that you love it. The second raw vegan meal I'm gonna be sharing with you today is a simple and delicious green juice. Juicing can be overwhelming for many people when they first start out. So today's recipe is only three simple ingredients. Green juice in particular can be somewhat frightening to people. They fear it might not taste good, they know it's good for them, but they don't know how to make it work. So today, the recipe simply calls for lime, apple, and celery. That's it. And if you want to add an extra special touch to this juice, you can add a little bit of freshly sliced pineapple. One of the reasons why I love this juicing recipe is because it's the perfect combination of sweet, a little salty and a little green, and a little bit of acid from the lime. It balances the taste buds perfectly, it's not overwhelming, and even your kids will love it. It's not a darker leafy green juice, so it won't be bitter. This will be light, sweet, and refreshing to your palate. My favorite juicer is the Nama J2 juicer, and I love it because it has this wide open hopper, and you can add in whole ingredients at a time. You can add in whole apples, a whole pineapple. You can fill up this whole hopper, close the lid, walk away, it does all the work for you, so when you come back, fresh juice is already made for you. This juicer has been a game changer for me. It's the one I have in my kitchen. I love it, I'm obsessed with it. I'm recommending it all the time because if you're wanting to get into juicing, this saves you time, prep, and effort. It just makes your life so much easier and it's easy to clean. Nama has been so gracious as to share a special discount code with you for the challenge. It expires on January the 21st. 
I'll go ahead and I'll add that into the description below. Meanwhile, the evergreen code will always be fully rough 55 to get $55 off this juicer. But if you want a little bit more, check out the link in the description below and enjoy. When ready, go ahead and add into your juicer one lime or lemon peeled, three to five large Fuji apples, two to three large heads of celery. You can always add more or less based upon how much juice you want to make. I'm gonna be making approximately 64 ounces of juice today, so I'm using two to three heads of celery. And optional, if you want to add in some extra pineapple into this juice, feel free to add that as well. This juice is so refreshing. It's light, it's nutritious, and it tastes so good. If you're looking to consume one raw vegan meal a day, and if you'd like that raw vegan meal to be a freshly pressed juice, 32 to 64 ounces of this juice could be a meal replacement for you. Drink up and hydrate that body because this juicing recipe is too good to be true. I hope you love this recipe as much as I do and I hope it becomes a staple in your daily routine. The third raw vegan meal idea that I'm gonna be sharing with you is a spring roll bowl. For those of you who find it difficult to consume large salads or to eat a lot of greens at once, you're going to love this recipe. It's filled with a lot of different juicy vegetables that are easier to digest, and this sauce is such a winner. It will keep in your refrigerator for up to three to five days. What I love most about this recipe is that it's textured, crunchy, juicy, sweet, savory. It literally meets all of your flavor profile needs. If you're a fan of spring rolls or even sushi, you're going to love this dish because essentially it takes all of the veggies that are inside of a spring roll and inside of a sushi roll, but we're making a salad out of them. Hence the reason why I'm calling this my spring roll bowl. This recipe is so simple and quick to make. As you can see, I have an array of rainbow veggies here that we're going to assemble into the bowl. And then we're going to make an Asian sauce. For those of you who are fans of Asian dipping sauces, we're literally just gonna use it as the dressing for our salad. So when ready, go ahead and add into a bowl of your choice, freshly chopped baby bok choy. You can slice it as thin as you'd like. You can even leave a few larger leaves to decorate the side of the bowl. Spiralized or shredded carrots. I've got yellow carrots, orange carrots, and even purple carrots here. You can use as many carrots as you'd like. If you're not a fan of shredded carrots, you can also use finely chopped purple cabbage. That's also a nice addition to this bowl. Next up, you can add in rainbow bell peppers. I've got orange bell pepper and red bell pepper. Spiralized cucumbers, or you can use a carrot peeler to simply shred your cucumber here. Ugh, adding juicy cucumber into the salad is the best. Next up, you can add whichever type of peas in here that you'd like, snap peas or snow peas. If you can't find either of those, you could even add in some chopped green beans. If you're an onion person, you can add in some freshly chopped green onions or even leeks. Add a little touch of heaven with some freshly sliced ripe avocado and sprinkle it with some fresh cilantro. This bowl looks so refreshing and colorful. Is your mouth watering yet? Once you have your bowl assembled, let's go ahead and make the dressing. When ready, go ahead and add into a high-speed blender of your choice like a Vitamix, the juice of two limes or lemons, one to two tablespoons of raw nam shoyu, tamari, or coconut aminos, one thumb of fresh turmeric or ginger or both, three to four cloves of garlic, and two to three heaping tablespoons of raw tahini. And keep in mind, you don't have to use all of this right now. You can save some of this dressing for later as well. If you'd like to add an extra pinch of pink salt in here, you can do that as well. If you're a fan of Asian dipping sauces, you will love this savory dressing. It is so good. Feel free to sprinkle on some chili flakes or even some sesame seeds on top here. Then when you're ready, you can go ahead and drizzle this over your spring roll bowl. As a final added touch, you can sprinkle on some sesame seeds. I have some black sesame seeds here, which add a bunch of extra nutrients into your salad. I present to you my spring roll bowl with a delicious Asian dipping sauce. I hope that this inspires you to eat more raw vegan meals in your day, and I hope it shows you just how simple and delicious this lifestyle can be. Every single bite of this salad is absolutely delicious. It's also perfect to share with family, friends, and loved ones. If you have company coming over, this is for sure a bowl that everyone will love. Or if you're looking just to consume one raw vegan meal a day, 
This is one that can become a new go-to recipe for you. Enjoy my friends. If you're interested in joining my 21 day vegan and juicing challenge, please click on the links in the description below. We're eating one raw vegan meal a day and drinking one fresh juice a day for 21 days and our live Zoom calls start on January the 21st. This will be my last year hosting this challenge, so I hope to have you join us. If you're looking for a new Vitamix blender or a Nama juicer for this challenge or simply for your kitchen, please also check out the links in the description below. I've also included the link for my app so you can download it on iTunes or Google Play. Thank you again so much for joining me in this video today. I hope you have loved these recipes and I hope you get to enjoy them. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Sending you my hugs and my love. Bye.